Right then guys, welcome back to the next video. This is the 27 inch Mobius, if that's how you call it, I'm sorry I can't pronounce it, uh, Mobius, it's got a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it's 2560 by 1440 resolution, it is 1 millisecond, 165 hertz and it's an IPS panel. Now what we'll do first is go directly into what comes in the box, we'll have a little bit of gameplay, I'll show you what it's like when it comes to the responsiveness in games. And then we'll have a chat afterwards. And so, yeah, keep watching. Right then, so you saw the gameplay, you saw the overall unboxing experience and so forth. Now, of course the specs are 2560 by 1440, it's got IPS, it's one millisecond response, it's 16 by 9 aspect ratio with 165 hertz. Now, 
It's a very nice monitor. It's a bit too small for me. I prefer a 32 because I prefer more real estate to do more things. Uh, it's got a lot of good functions. The onboard speakers are very good. I will say the cinema options very very impactful it's got like a surround sound feature which does literally vibrate the desk so that's very good overall the speakers sound okay uh, the overall features on the monitor i didn't really use the hdri function that often because it hurt my eyes it all it does it pumps up the vibrance the contrast and really makes it look more vibrant now i'm color blind so I had a bit of problems with using HDI. I don't use HDR at all, so I'm sorry for that, BenQ. I can't go using a feature that hurts my eyes. But obviously, if you're not colorblind and you haven't got problems with that, then otherwise, a very good monitor. It's got a lot of good features. Uh, now, in terms of like saying it does that, it does height adjust. Does a little bit of rotate the butt on the side. Doesn't do swivel, of course, but it goes up and down. That's it. Now, when it comes to this HDRI, there's the button below. HDR, HDR, cinema, cinema HDRI, or game HDRI. In terms of the uh, overall thing, it's got free sync. But there, then, you've got the import, the inputs, that you've got quick menu, which can just overall change the settings. Then this is the colour modes, you can go from racing to RPG, FPS, HDR, see it just makes the screen a lot better. And of course there's that one, there's that one. And now I use custom because obviously I've got, I'm colour blind, but so yeah, it's got a lot of different uh, functions as a monitor. I will say it is the most featured monitor I've actually had, and that's saying something, so yeah. Uh, if you want to buy it lock i will say it's got a thumbs up for me and overall very good i would prefer a bigger screen like i've said i prefer bigger screens the onboard speakers i would actually keep those are very very good speakers and it's my favorite resolution 2560 by 1440 and overall that's pretty much it guys look I want to thank BenQ for sending this out. I really appreciate them sending me out, especially all the documentation for this monitor. And what I will say, it's a very good monitor. If it was 32 inches and a little bit of a curve, maybe I would suggest it myself. But I've already got a monitor. And... That's pretty much it, guys. If you want to buy it, then obviously I will leave a link down below because it does give me a kickback, helps the channel. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe because if you don't forget, if you forget to subscribe, then you won't get the amazing content that I've got planned up. So, yeah, you, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And, as always, please have a fantastic day. Good. Bye.